This is Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. I shudder thinking how the world can be so cruel. I lend my voice to those who can't. It's time we try. It's time we care. It's time we stand. Welcome to the Special Chronicle Show. My name is Daniel Smokowski, and I'm the founder of Special Chronicles and a Special Olympic Southern Shrival International Global Messenger. Our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 730 episodes absolutely for free. And to follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, our original series, award winning columns, blogs, and sign up for our newsletter. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. This week, um, before we welcome the guest, I want to, want to kind of just give a quick, quick um, behind-the-scenes mention. Um, if you are listening to the podcast, you probably hear no difference. Well, maybe you, you might hear a difference. You you might hear a little bit of a higher high sound audio quality. I hope you, you hear um, we have taken the sound to the, the next level. But if, you, if you're watching, you probably see, oh, there's a different microphone in the studio, a more professional radio-type microphone. And, um, yeah, thanks to listeners like you, um, we're able to make these sound upgrades. Um, and so this is the first uh, episode with this sound. Next week, we will be back to the old sound, and then Mouch will <laughs> go back to the, the new sound. So um, just a little um, little behind-the-scenes uh, little tidbit for you. But this week on the Special Chronicles podcast, we're we'll welcoming Justin I forgot to ask him how to pronounce his last name, but he'll mention it on the show. Um, we are rolling with Justin as uh, uh, Justin's a person with cerebral palsy who raps, advocates for people with disabilities. His mom is the founder of the Center for Independence. So please put your virtual hands together as we welcome Justin to the Special Chronicle Show. Welcome, Justin. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, just imagine the audience, the, all the listeners applauding for you as you adjust your microphone. Awesome. How's everybody, good. How's everybody doing today? It's so good to, to it's so good to have you on the program. Uh, and I want to, I guess, as a, be, be, before we let you introduce yourself, maybe we can kind of share a fun story of how we got connected. Um, one is thanks to a mutual friend, um, and one of our podcast listeners, also previous guest, um, Izzy. And then we also kind of, a little fun story. Maybe we, we could kick off the this episode of the pod with um, how we first met in person. Because it's, it's kind of a fun yeah. story. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll let you show. Absolutely. So I was rolling around the neighborhood. I was going into Blackberry Market to get some lunch. And then all of a sudden, I see Daniel, and I'm like, "Are you Daniel?" <laughs> <laughs> and he opens the door for me. He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's like, okay. And then I'm like, "Oh, holy moly!" And we start talking. I didn't say other words in "holy moly," but I know this podcast is censored. But no, we started just... talking. So that's how we met. Uh, yeah, and and kind of, uh, I guess, to kind of add on to you, Justin, is. Uh, we had that that day. We I think about a week ago. We had um, planned for a FaceTime prep call, and then um, yeah. that yeah, that's so it it, it, it was a fun uh, kind of that that kind of goes in with hopefully the title of this episode, "Rowing with Justin." Um, yeah. That um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to send me a picture. Um, I um, as a way to do research. Sometimes I look up people's Instagram accounts to f- try to find a picture for this episode. So yeah. I will, but we'll talk about that off here. Um, but so that's how we got connected. And now maybe you could share with our lis- listeners a little. And rolling with Justin kind of ties. Well, we'll 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 get into this book re- recommendation. This book re- re- recommendation. <laughs> we both read. Uh, we both read. Uh, about three, four years ago. Um, so, yeah. but um, if both you don't succeed. Yeah, if I both you don't succeed, 
It is. It's by um, comedian Zach Anno. Um, yeah. The back of the book, um, well, the viewers can probably see on the back of the book, Zach yeah. um, is in a wheelchair, just like Justin. And yeah. I got um, it came about because the title of the episode, and um, if you follow um, Special Chronicles on Instagram, um, I think we might have put a little. I made a mistake on our Instagram stories with rowing with Zach instead of rowing with Justin because Zach, um, Zach Anno is an award-winning comedian and show host, but he had a, in 2011, he, he won his own travel show on the Oprah Winfrey Network called Rowing with uh, Zach. And so that's why I got you, your name mixed up with him. Um, which that kind of goes into, I think, not all. Yes, Zach has CP. Justin, you have CP. But, yeah, and like me, myself with learning disabilities and severe language disorder. So n- we might have the same disability diagnosis as somebody else, but yeah. at the same time, I think um, all like no, I guess no two people have the same. Experience, experience yeah. with it. Yeah, that, that's a yeah. good um, way of saying that. So, yeah. on that, you want to share your connection to our disability community and 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 talk to us a little bit about your early years of what disability you were diagnosed with. Absolutely. So my connections with my disability um, it all starts mainly because you know, my mom. Was a center for independence through conductive education. Um, so I work out with adults with the same disability as mine, uh, cerebral palsy, and um, that helped me kind of build connections to the um, outside world in terms of acknowledging people with disabilities. You know, I was given like a much earlier start because some people with disabilities, they don't necessarily see people with disabilities in the outside world. You may see people like on Instagram or social media advocating for disability and i gotta give a shout out to uh pazuzu and marshall music because they do um extensive knowledge about uh disability research on instagram but for me on a daily basis it's like i get to see people like ani elijah colleen um you know benjamin and Khaled. they all go to my mom center and, and we all have good conversations about our disability cerebral palsy awesome awesome and and speaking um, oh speaking to that um those um if if, if uh, uh listeners if you just listen to the audio podcast go check out the live stream video episode on our youtube channel youtube facebook or linkedin um but you can see underneath you can see justin's instagram handle underneath his name um, which uses yeah. the, the, the word crippled, which we will um, we might have a little friendly disability uh, debate okay. at the end of the episode. So you guys yeah. stay, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah. But I want to kind of maybe kind of uh, before we take a full break, um, as we had just um, mentioned uh, this book, if, if at both you don't succeed, um, My Adventures with Disaster and Destiny, it is by uh, Zach Anno. Uh, Zach is a comedian, an award-winning, we should say that, award-winning comedian, show host, and public speaker. Um, mm-hmm. And um, actually, nowhere in, 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 his, in the book jacket, nowhere in his bio, maybe we can start out with that, nowhere in his bio, you see him sitting in a wheelchair, but nowhere in his bio does it, does it say what disability Zach was diagnosed with. And the most... Yeah, and- the, that's isn't it interesting? And the more that I think of it, is myself as an award-winning podcaster. I don't know about you, Justin, but like in my bio, I I don't say what disability I'm diagnosed with in my bio. It's all about my accomplishments. Just like Zach Yano put all of his accomplishments in 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 his bio. So yeah. maybe, maybe as as a way to kind of kind of briefly talk about this book, um, if I both you don't see by Zach Yano. You want to maybe comment on that, like, uh, you know, why why people why some people with disabilities like like Zach and myself, we don't put out disability. Uh, oh, absolutely, I can. we don't put yeah. our, our disability yeah. in our professional bios. Yeah, absolutely, I can. I think it just matters to the person. 
with the disability. Um, some people with disabilities don't like to be referred to by their disability. Yeah. And some people with disabilities, you know, like to be referred to by their disability. I'm like first person. I'm, I'm disability all the time. Yeah. So when you talk to me, you talk to both me and my wheelchair. We're like a team. We're a tandem. We're a tag team. So in a sense, that's why I use just a crippled messenger. And we'll get more into that in the later aspects where yeah. we get into that friendly debate. But it's all about, you know, person first language versus identity first language. I choose my identity first because I want my disability to be strong. You know, even in some ways like sexy, sexy. So I think to me that that matters. <laughs> I, I, I have to, <laughs> I love the, first off, I love what you said. Second, I'm, I'm wondering if we have to, on this episode, put an explicit tag on on this uh, on this uh, episode of the of the podcast. Yeah. Um, maybe so. Hey, if 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 any kids, if any parents are listening to the episode, you and you, you want your young kids to listen, uh, maybe um, maybe fast forward that little this little. Should I said of cute. Should I said cute instead of sexy? Okay, I'll say cute. <laughs> Strong, powerful, and cute. Oh, and oh, yes. by by the way, if if like I did 15 years ago, if I wanted to edit this this podcast, I could edit that out. Am I going to? No, I'm going to keep it all in. My hopefully, okay. hopefully, my producer doesn't disagree. Okay. Well, I'll just say, I'll say cute. I guess because I've been an adult, I, I say that the S word. But I'll say cute instead of the S word, so I don't disagree with your producer. Okay. <laughs> I mean, technically, kind of already said it, so it's we can kind of go with it. But yeah, I guess for future references. Okay. okay. We're going to go ahead and take a show sponsor break. When we come back, we will get to um, talking about the Center for Independence, um, which is in, um, it's in the Chicago area. Yeah, in the suburbs. So for those li- listening in different states, or if you're listening in a different country, um, we just want to put that little um, disclaimer um, out there that we're talking about a a we're going to be talking about a uh, uh, organization, a a um, service, a disability service that's um, in the towns where yeah. Justin and I live, um, and so we'll talk about that when we come back. Our guest is Justin. We are gonna be. We're gonna continue. Uh, this we're we're gonna continue wooing with Justin. Hopefully, Zach is okay with us kind of taking a spin off of his <laughs> his travel show. Yeah, Zach might yeah. not might not even listen to this podcast. So who knows? I wish you would. I wish you would. He should. You know what we should do is we should tag him. Oh, we should. <laughs> yeah. Um. We should. We should slide into Zach. Zach Anno's DMs yeah. and send them a little link to, 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 to this episode. I try to slide into his Twitter all the time. You know what? Zach never responds. That, I keep I keep waiting for yeah. that response. Like, please give You know You know what? Me get it. It's like please. Yeah, you know what? You you kinda cut out there, but yeah. I think, yeah, me too. I I tried to slide into what, what, what I don't go on Twitter that much anymore. But um, like on Instagram, I, I try to you know slide slide into his DMs. But you know, well, we can try again. Uh, and if any of you listeners, if you know how to successfully slide into uh, exactly. uh, someone's DMs, let us know. We can you know, yeah. Yeah. if if only Instagram can give me that little blue. If they verify check mark, then it might might be a little bit easier. But <laughs> yeah, okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Zach is a billion dollar megastar, and we're just like two starving disabled podcast artists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a little bit well known, kind of. I don't know. I've been doing this for what, 15 years, so you know, you do have thousands of, of listeners. But let's go ahead and You're well known to me. What? Let's go ahead. You're definitely more well known. Than- 
<laughs> thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and take a short break. When we come back, we will continue um, woeing with Justin right here on SpecialChronicles.com. We'll be right back. Support for Special Chronicles comes from listeners like you. As an independent public media podcast, Special Chronicles will always be there for you. Now we're asking you to be there for us. As a nonprofit independent media organization, we can only make programs like Special Chronicles with listener support. Our programs provide weekly, candid, honest, and inspiring conversations about the people with disabilities community that creates awareness, support, and advocacy within each week's episode. Listeners tell us our shows are an enjoyable and necessary podcast for the intellectual and developmental disability community and everyone else who is able to listen to stories about life from a different angle. Please, if you and your family love our weekly podcasts, Make a one-time, monthly, or annual gift of thanks today. Support this podcast at specialchronicles.com slash give. That's specialchronicles.com slash give. And with that, we're back. Uh, we are continuing along with Justin. And, and Justin, before we um, briefly kind of get into the Sun of Independence, um, I guess technically we didn't even get into a review of this book we basically just talked about his instagram we kind of went off on a tangent on his bio but um yeah um did you want to maybe kind of comment and it, again i don't know just like you it, it, it has been um it's been like three um three four years since i've last read his book but i i have to say oh wait hold on there is hold on let me just as i as i skim what do you call it skim Peruse, skim the book. Yeah, skim, skim the skim, book. Skim or peruse. Yeah, peruse the book. I, I was trying to think of a good word. There's a chapter in here called the uh, the worst. Oh, I don't know how you say that. W u r s t. The worst and best of Berlin. Since I'm going to Berlin in June for the upcoming Special Olympics World Games, maybe I should reread that that chapter. Um, <laughs> okay, so is there any particular chapter or any kind of kind of brief review? Yeah, of, of I can this give book? you I can give you a couple a couple of uh, things that I remember about Zach's book. Um, the first chapter actually, um, he goes to the bathroom on himself. Number two, <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. I, I do. I do. Is is that uh? That's uh. Is that reading uh, the first chapter? Rereading. It. Um, nope. But as a person with a disability, is that is that what's it? What's in yeah? The name? Like, I I don't know. I think it was the first chapter. But as what's, as a person with a disability, I can't like walk to the bathroom. So it's like really hard for me to go to the bathroom without assistance. So for me to do a number two, like I need help or something. Mm -hmm. So. I totally related to that chapter. I think it was like in camp or in some sort of you, something it was, where he had, to, he had to go to the bathroom and he didn't have any help, so he went number two on himself. He did, and, um, he, and it was it was when he was trying to, I think, uh, audition or apply to um, win uh, this travel show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. So yeah, like, uh, absolutely. I just... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He went to the bathroom on himself. That's the thing. That's the thing I remember the most because for me, it's really hard to go number two without assistance. Mm -hmm. So you know, I need help with that. So that really resonated with me, um, the first chapter. And throughout the book, he references like trying to fall in love. Um, that's also kind of hard for a person with a disability because. You know, disability is the, often construed as being like, you know, ugly or puzzling to like able-bodied people. Yeah. So, so it's really hard to find a connection with an able-bodied person. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a lot easier with a person who has your disability or you know may re relate to it better. Yeah. So, so I, I, if that resonated or related with me, because uh, I know you have a, a a girlfriend that you got a hot date with tonight, correct? She has Down Down syndrome. Oh, Down syndrome. Yeah, Down syndrome. but um, 
with um I so, so um with, uh I think the the vid, the video might have uh froze a little bit though. Justin. Yeah, I think oh are we back? I think the video kind of froze. Yeah. Can you still hear me? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, can you hear? Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I can hear you. I wanted to briefly comment. Dan? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, uh, Justin? I think you can still. Uh, hopefully, the video is now. Oh, 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 oh! The video is cutting out a little bit here. Let's see if we can get the video. Yeah. Can you hear me? I think we'll. Yeah, I, think, I can hear you. I think we should be back. I want to briefly comment on what you said about the second, because his uh, his book is divided into three parts. Part one uh, is Oprah to Nopra. Uh, part two is Friends in Search of Benefits, and then part three, the, the Learning Curve of a Late Bloomer. But you had just talked about part two, his search of relationships, and like th- this one chapter that says destiny in, in a one, destiny in a red one piece bathing suit. There's another chapter called um, I'll Have a uh, Virgin Zachary, uh, Something to Offend Everyone, Hope Salad and Breadsticks, Bucking Up the Long Treehouse, with apologies yeah. to Gene Shout. Yeah, I th- um, yeah, we probably could go on and on and do a whole podcast episode just <laughs> on this book. Just on this yeah. book. But maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll have to have you back on. On the pod, just to uh, for a, in 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 depth conversation about Zach's book. How, how does yeah? That sound? We could. I would have to reread it, but well, I remember. Yeah, me, too. <laughs> me too. I would have to reread it. Say, so, hey, for, yeah. um, let's just um, for all the listeners out there, um, email feedback at specialchronicles dot com or send us. Oh, you can DM us on. Uh, at Special Chronicles on um, Instagram, Facebook, find all of our social media links. Uh, yeah. uh, SpecialChronicles dot com to uh, find out how to send us a message on social media. Um, but let us let us know. Um, well, let me know, and then I'll let, I'll text Zach and let him know um, if you want us to do a little in depth uh, book review on Zach Kendall's book. And, really? and maybe <laughs> if we can su- successfully slide into Zach's DMs on Instagram or, or, or Twitter, then maybe uh, we can have Zach on the pod and then we can, you know, do a... <laughs> I mean, I'm an excessive slider. I pull DMs that I like. What? You are a successful slider? Okay. So... I'm an excessive slider. <laughs> Good. So <laughs> that could go into a whole, a whole different... Uh, Direction there, but all right. <laughs> maybe maybe I shouldn't. Go. We should keep this G weighted. <laughs> okay. PG, PG, PG. Yeah, let's keep it PG. Okay. Um, the center. So your mom, Patricia, founded yes. the Center for Independence in 1998, which fosters, yeah. which fosters a winning attitude for people with cerebral palsy. Um, my mom lives in like the town next like two t- towns away from me, probably the next town away from you. Uh, but we've, we've driven past the center for independence. I think it's on what 55th street and con- is it countryside or the Grange? Yeah. Countryside. Countryside. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is the town where well, I, I, I want to say, where I won't say where my mom lives. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she listens to the pod and she might say, why are you giving my location? I kind of stopped myself there. Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, we've we've driven by and we've always wondered what the Sun of Independence is. And so now I can just um, tell my mom, <laughs> listen to the Rolling with Justin episode, and uh, you can episode what five fourteen, and, and uh, you can uh, know what it is. But. Um, Give us, um, we've got about uh, five minutes before our, our next um, sponsor break, but tell us um, a little bit about the Center for Independence and what, for our listeners who have no idea, especially our listeners who might not live in the in, in the Chicago area, but um, for our listeners um, across the country, across the globe, who have no across idea. Across the world, definitely. Yeah, yeah, who have no idea what the Center for Independence right. is, kind of give us a brief 
um, idea of, of what this give a brief synopsis. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, the center for independence, it was founded in 1998. Um, you know, American therapy, it goes for like typically like an hour. Um, and then we kind of rush through things. Um, so people with disabilities, like I said before, we don't really see a lot of people that look like ourselves. So it basically puts people like us together and it has us do our exercises on, um, you know, our own time based off of, you know, ideas like rhythmic intention, which is like, I put my feet flat, 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 or, you know, I lift the stick up, up, up. So basically like you do exercises based off of, you know, memorization and uh, rhythmic tension, which is basically repeating the exercise like once or twice or three times. So you have the ability to do it and we're doing it together as a community. So that's the best part. Um, you know, and it was based off of um, something that was founded on Andres Peto at the Peto Institute in like the early 1950s, you know, based for people with disabilities, you know. So my mom saw it in Canada and went like, whoa, you know, I need to do this. And props to my mom because she has um, the dogged determination of a fierce warrior. So before that, she was an accountant. And she saw me sitting on a chair by myself, and she's like, oh, my God, you can actually sit on a chair by yourself. Like, what the heck? Like, I need to bring this to America. Um, so um, that's what she did. And that's how it started. Like, what, 300 people with disabilities? 200 people? Um, a lot of people. So... Um, you know, it started, you know, with my mom, but I was the inspiration behind it. So awesome. I get called the reason, but my mom is the starter. Uh, awesome. And is, is, is it just for people with CP or, or is it other disabilities as well? Uh, we were doing, we do mainly people with CP. We did have a stroke program for a little bit there, but, um, it was, it's mainly for people with cere- cerebral palsy. Cause I'm, I'm the receptionist at the Center for Independence, so people ask me all the time, do you have physical therapy programs for, like, leg injuries or something? Mm -hmm. Um, And we're like, nope, Uh, we have cerebral palsy. (laughs) Sometimes the the listener's like, oh, thank God I don't have that. And I'm like, did you just really say that, bro? (laughs) And I say that in my head. I don't say that out loud. Yeah. You know, able-bodied people are confused that, well, with cerebral palsy. Like, there, I don't want that. Yeah. Like, like, a, the cerebral palsy is not that bad. Yeah. There's a tome that's called, I'm sure you've heard of it, it's called ableism. And we had um, a, a, a few weeks ago, I forgot the episode number. <laughs> A few weeks ago, just go back in in, in, in the archives, folks. Um, just, like, just, just go back a few weeks the, a few week, a few episodes ago, and um, uh, the American Association of People with Disabilities um, did this town hall, um, this yeah. this presentation to United Airlines employees, and we podcasted this presentation and about understanding disability and ableism. Yeah. And it, it it was a good, it, I think it's a one hour episode, um, and so you guys, maybe I'll, I'll try to see if I can put a link so you, you guys can go back and listen to that that episode. Um, but with, uh, something that kind of struck me that you just said um, uh, is that um, y- you were the inspiration to your mom to found the Center for Independence. And I'm sure that it, it could be a whole debate, but like the the whole idea of inspiration porn, well, I guess uh, non oh my God. non disabled people, um, like uh, like for example, like our parents or, or other people, like I, I I'm sure that they have like when when people found something like I mean myself found in special chronic because I'm a person with a disability found found in the special chronicles, but that aside, but like the Center for Independence, or even like Special Olympics, or Bus Buddies, like these old, these other old organizations that found that are founded by non 
disabled people, not like people that don't have disabilities. Um, do you think it was your mom's attention? I mean, I, I'm sure it wasn't, but like to kind of, uh, to, for you to be the inspiration for it to be inspiration porn, or I don't know if, if you want to kind of comment on that, 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 that whole idea. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't think, I don't think her intention was to make me the inspiration behind it because my mom is a very humble person. Mm -hmm. You know, she's very hardworking. She's very meticulous. She works very hard. I'm very cocky. I'm very outspoken. So I don't think she intended to make me the inspiration behind it. Yeah. I think she was trying to make people with disabilities lives better. Uh, yeah. You know? and that's, I, I kind of got that idea and I, I did a, um, I did a little bit of research on the website for the center for independence, not as much yeah. research as I would have liked, but um, we'll put a link in the show notes for this episode. You guys, depending on wherever you're listening, if you're listening to this on specialchronicles.com, on on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, where, wherever, just click the link in the description below, and we'll put a link to the Center for Independence um, on specialchronicles.com slash podcast514. But um, uh, for, for the sake of time, we're going to get into a little bit more about your disability story and then a debate at the end of the episode, a disability debate at the end of the episode. <laughs> Um, but I'm sure yeah, we. I can't wait for that. I'm sure we could talk about more about the Center for Independence. But I, I, I guess I, I just want to include conclude this segment um, of the pod um, with just saying um, that I, I don't know about you, but like I guess I, I feel grateful that we have these services um, uh, like the Center for Independence. Those um, just down the street from from. From the Center for Independence is the is the Help in Hand Center. Um, Hello. The, the, yeah. Oh, are you there? Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I thought I thought we were breaking up. A oh, little okay. Bit. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I was I was just saying I'm I'm grateful that we we have these o o o o organizations like the Center for Independence. Those just down the street from you is the Help in Hand Center. We've got Special Olympics, Best Buddies, all these different the American Association of People with Disabilities. All these um, um, disability in all these organizations that are that are providing resources and support for people like you and myself and the um, millions of Americans, the millions of people across the globe that have uh, some type of either intellectual or physical disability di diagnosis. With that. We're going to go ahead and take a short sponsor break. When we come back, we will get into a little bit more about um, your disability uh, story, Zach, and um, a debate at the end of the episode. So we will continue, and we will roll on with the show. <laughs> we, will, we will continue to roll with Zach when uh, this episode of the Special Chronicles uh, show. Zach, Justin. Oh, Zach. <laughs> so you, so you, you're gonna you're gonna have to <laughs> oh, you know Zach Zach waiting needs to come on <laughs> Zach Zach Anna waiting needs to come come on the pod <laughs> I am just I'm sorry do, 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 <laughs> before we take that break do you, do you guys even look alike I mean do you guys even look alike. Like I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have a beard. You've got a beard. Um, I don't. I don't. Does he have glasses? I don't. Anyways, um, <laughs> hey. you want to call me? <laughs> we need to. We need to like put a. Anyways, we will continue to. <laughs> oh, um, please! I, I really hope when I title the episode. <laughs> I, I put rolling with Justin. Let's just uh, hope I do the right thing. Otherwise, maybe that's going to be a subtle hint to when when we slide into Zach's DMs. It'll be, it'll be a little subtle hint. Hey, um, Zach, do you want to come on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you guys tell how much we um, are all in love with this comedian? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Zach, I'm trying to slide into his DMs right now. It isn't working. It's not... I I put my phone on during the stove, but maybe maybe during this next sponsor break, we will slide. We will try to. You know, you know what we should do is I uh, I don't. Is there a way to like uh, call him? I don't know. Does he have a? I don't know. No. 
He doesn't have his phone number out there, unfortunately. He'd be like, who's calling us? Who's random people calling us? Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead and take... break? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take that sponsor break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Wooing with Justin <laughs> on the special chronicles.com. <laughs> Support for Special Chronicles comes from Comed. Special Chronicles is yeah. proud to partner with the Comed Energy Force Ambassador Program. The Energy Force is the country's first energy efficiency education program designed for and taught by people with disabilities. Comed is powering lives, and where he is powering us here at Special Chronicles to keep the lights on and our technology is powered on. As Comrade powers the lives of us, they are literally giving a voice to people with special needs. We thank Comrade for the generous support of our mission at Special Chronicles. Learn more at specialchronicles.com slash Comrade. That's specialchronicles.com slash Comrade. Support for Special Chronicles comes from United Airlines Bridge Disability Business Resource Group. Special Chronicles is proud to partner with United Airlines and the Bridge BLG. Bridge BLG is committed to being an ally for all employees and customers with disabilities. Bridge helps to create internal awareness to keep accessibility needs in mind and partner with key organizations to empower disability inclusion for employment and travel. Bridge, connecting people of all abilities. Book your travel today on United.com or on the award-winning United app. Learn more on United's commitment to to disability inclusion for employment and travel at specialchronicles.com slash United. That's specialchronicles.com slash United. Oh, uh, uh, I thought that was going to fade out a little bit more um, uh, gracefully. Maybe I could have just fade. I probably could have. I could have, speaking of sliding into DMs, I could have just slid that little level on on this mixer, on this soundboard that I have here. I I, I could just slide down that. Um, Yeah. With that, we are rolling with Zach. I mean, Justin. See, oh, only on in the episode, I did it on, I did it by accident. I, I, I didn't mean to, but now I'm going to just do it on purpose. Um, <laughs> with, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, Zach, we, w- Zach, did I just call you Zach again? <laughs> I'm so, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so, I, I, <laughs> 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 Okay. Anyways, tell us about your day. So, you sent me and my and my producer your bio, and in your bio it said yeah. that, that your day job is as a receptionist at a, a homeless shelter. But then, yeah. just in the previous segment, you had said that um, you're a receptionist at the Center for Independence. Is it so? Do, is it two jobs or is it? Can you do you want to maybe clarify? For, I, I could clarify, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, um, I work, you know, for Feds Plus mostly, and I help out at the center for a little bit. I'm in the rotational shelters that are in the area, because right now we're, you know, um, we don't have... Uh, you know, the space at our, our facility, so we send them to rotational shelters and churches. So my job is to just make them aware of that, and sometimes they're happy about the shelter, and sometimes they want more permanent shelter. So I have to tell them, you know, this is the best thing we've got available. You know, just take it or leave it. And, I mean, that's tough because they're homeless, but, you know, if you want a place to stay, you got to go there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
The next bullet on the show notes, and I don't usually, this is supposed to be a conversation, I don't usually say, oh, the, the next step, next up in the, in the show notes is blah, 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 because um, the show notes is just internal. What the listeners are going to see is is kind of like a summary of what we talk about. So with that, it says, what are the sports you, you participate in? Um, I, I just copy and paste these show notes from, like, a previous guest, and so... It was probably a special, SG, what, the last episode that you guys heard was with um, a special Olympics athlete going to the World Games in Berlin. So that, that's probably why that was on there. So, Zach, I apologize for that. Justin, call me Zach. This is just stop. This is the episode. Honestly, I have never mistaken a guest's name before. Uh, uh, I, I am professional. I know what I, I, I've been doing this 15 years. I am a professional award winning podcaster. I know what I'm doing. It's just, it's just so when you, when you, when, when the time, I think it's because, you know what? You know what? Just, Justin, I'm going to blame you. When, 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 when we did our, our pre show, um, stroll down, the Grange Road. When we did our pre-show prep, we we came up with the title rowing with Zach, and and that's what you said. And then I just somehow kind of, I think it's because I, I I never watched Zach's show rowing with Zach, but I, I just I kind of in reading his book, I knew I, I I had that title in my mind, and so now it's stuck. And now when you told me rowing with Justin, I just yeah, and now I'm just mistaking your name. Okay. <laughs> With that, um, you, so you have an interest in rap music. Can you just tell us a little bit about your, your interest in rap music as well as your podcast and your love and mutual respect for professional wes- wrestling? So kind of t- tie that all in together, rap music and your podcast. Wrestling? Yeah. Um, so I actually, I actually uh, battled back in college. My rap name was uh, The Crippled Statement, so... I um I used to I do a lot of freestyle raps, so you know like, you know, I rap like I'm vicious and all these MCs are superstitious and my rhymes are ice cream they're delicious so I would do rhymes like that and you know I would freestyle because I loved rap music so much, you know because it had so much energy so much angst, you know and just so much creativity that eventually I wanted to do it myself. And uh, me being, you know, white and in a wheelchair um, and trying to rap battle people in college, it was really hard to get them to disrespect me. Because in a rap battle, you're supposed to disrespect the other person. Mm-hmm. And you know, you're like, oh, that guy in a wheelchair, because he's in a wheelchair. He's had a hard enough time already. So I would be like, come on, come on, dude get me, get me, attack me. <laughs> and when they wouldn't, I would just be like, I would just eat them alive. So the people that would actually just insult me and come at me derogatorily, I would be like, whoa, this is new. This is weird. <laughs> so I would actually be caught off guard. Um, and I would actually have to come up with something because when people actually treated me like a human being, I would be like, whoa. Okay, you're insulting me. Let me come correct. Awesome. So, I I lo- I love how you 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 um uh kind of in the in the space to kind of show people that um yes don't don't make fun of those of us with disabilities, but whether we can have as much game and 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 as much um. Game? Swagger, swaggle, yeah. That's see, I I don't listen to rap music, so I I don't know the the words to use. But yeah, the the white swaggle as able bodied people. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was uh, it was an experience. And in terms of wrestling, I've loved wrestling my whole entire life. Like I trained with Freelance Underground for five years. Um, I had two trainers. I had uh, James Camioni and Sean Buckley. Um, you know, they trained me for five years to be a wrestling manager, which is basically like, uh, the coach of the wrestler. So I'd be in charge, like doing promos, which is basically like talking up my guy, 
So he'd be like, you know, my guy is so bad, he's going to whoop your butt. Or I would basically, like, insult the audience because my job was to be, like, the heel, which is the bad guy. Because it would be so obvious to be, like, the good guy and be in a wheelchair that I wanted to be the bad guy just because I wanted to see if people would really, like, throw batteries at me or want to hit me because I'm in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So that, to me, that would have been great. Um, It didn't happen because I got kind of nervous towards the end, so I wasn't able to execute the way I wanted to. But I really had a good time training with Freelance Underground and just learning about the business and, you know, being a part of it and just – because I love wrestling. I've loved it. It's all I've ever wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, and, and if people, and can people find your podcast on, um, Apple podcast, Spotify, basically where, wherever you're listening to. Yeah, they can find it on Apple. We got like five listeners. Um, I think it's called, uh, breaking kayfabe is our job, which is like an insider term for the business or something. I, I have a new co- co-host. He works with me. His name is Omar. So we talk about WWE. We talk about all elite wrestling. Awesome. We dabble in the independent. So awesome. It's we both so, wrestling. So is amazing. You said it's tied to wrestling till you crippled. Isn't it? Is, yeah, is I, the name? I I called it that, but we we're we're working on a new title. All right. You know, cause I have awesome. to. I have to listen to my co-host too. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I definitely know about that. I, I've co-hosted with people, and um, we'll all fail. We'll have to talk about um because this podcast that um you're on right now, the Special Chronicles show, is a part of the Special Chronicles network. So we've got a network of a few different podcasts, um, and so we'll we'll have to maybe talk about how maybe um if you want um you, um if you want your podcast to be part of this network, and then we can um promote your podcast and on our website and all that. Um, oh, that was, thank you. But we can talk about that off air. We're going to take one final break and we'll get into um, some, some plugs and a quick disability debate uh, at the end of the episode after this final sponsor break right here on, we will continue to be rowing with just Justin. Did I get the name right? Rowing with Justin. When the, Podcast continues on SpecialQuanticles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting, the easiest, most yeah. affordable option to get started in podcasting. At Special Chronicles, we yeah. proudly host our weekly podcast with Podbean and highly recommend you use Podbean right Podcast now. Hosting to get started in podcasting today. Sign up for an unlimited hosting plan and get one month free now to get started in podcasting today Today, when you visit specialquanticles.com slash podbean. That's specialquanticles.com slash podbean. Our live streams are powered by StreamYard, the easiest way to create professional live streams. StreamYard is a live streaming studio in your browser. Interview guests, share your screen, and much more. Stream directly to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other platforms. Sign up for StreamYard today using our StreamYard Refor link when you visit specialquanticles.com slash StreamYard. That's specialquanticles.com slash StreamYard. And we're back. Um, we are rolling with Justin on specialquanticles.com. Yeah. <laughs> See, it only took 48 minutes to get your name right. Yeah, that's great. Uh, see, it only takes 48 minutes. And yeah. Okay, so with yeah. that, um, be- before we get to your quick social media plugs, um, well, I- I- to tie into that, people can follow you if they're just listening to us on audio. We'll put links in the show notes for this episode, um, specialquanticles.com slash podcast514. If you want to find the the show notes, but your Instagram handle is at Justin. No, no, no. What is it? Just a crippled messenger. One, yes. two, three, four. At that's what it is. That's what it is. At just yeah. crippled messenger. One, two, three, four. Uh, the word crippled. Um, I've listened to yeah. some other disability podcasts, and I know in, in our community, and, and personally, and I I know that there's the there's a debate on what's the white language to use um and personally for me and maybe it's with the disability that i was diagnosed with i don't like the word disability 
but I still use it. And that's why mostly as Butcher Chronicles, we use the Tome Special Needs. And so kind of I guess with that, I guess the, the, there was a whole debate. A lot, a lot of people, there was a disability campaign in Europe, or it might have been in the UK, um, using the the word crippled. And there was a whole, whole debate on that um, we shouldn't use that word. Um, so maybe, um, and again, we have like less than 10 minutes left of the episode, so maybe – uh, can have a really quick debate, but maybe I'll just kind of pass it over to you, and then maybe I'll show a few of my thoughts on on the whole idea on the of word, on the, the word, word crippled. crippled. Yeah, yeah, I use it because I'm trying to take my power back, so that's mainly why I use it. Um, you know, just by using that term, I know a lot of people don't like when I use the identification first language, mm-hmm. but I use it because I want to take the power back, you know, bring my disability into my own hands and make it beautiful. I know I said the S word, so I'll just say make it beautiful. I said the S word at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> I don't know if you want to edit that out or keep no, it. No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing any other than. <laughs> yeah. So just, just make it beautiful. Um, make it my own and make it powerful. So awesome. that's when I say the word cripple, I'm trying to just re-energize the label and, and, and make it better. Awesome. I love that. And I I have to say, even though I I guess I could say I disagree with, with that word, but I think my perspective is going to change and hopefully the, the listener's perspective will change. Maybe – and uh, we'll, we'll have to maybe show this clip. I'm gonna um, make a make a little mon- uh, handwritten note uh, of this um, time timestamp. Um, so maybe we can encourage our listeners. And whether we start a cam- maybe we should start a campaign that that says just just crippled uh, or something, and we can let people know to to look at the to look at the beauty, to look at the cuteness of the word crippled. Can we, can we say that? Look at the beauty, look, look at the cuteness of the word crippled. Yeah, I think, I think that makes a lot of sense. And, and that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to take the power back. And some disabled people don't like it. Some disabled people do. So I'm not trying to uh, affront anybody or insult anybody. That's just my personal opinion. Awesome. Yeah, so I I love that. If you guys have any feedback, let us know in the comments or, 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 or send us a message. Um, you can find out on um, all, all social media on specialchronicles.com to get in touch with us. Uh, and and we'll put links in the show notes for this episode 514 to Justin your social media, to the Center for Independence, their, their website cfimove.org. I think I'm – did I get that correct? As well yeah. as, yeah. Yes, I moved out or yep. So if you guys want to uh, loan Mo and follow Justin's podcast, follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, and so with that, um, we are coming up to the end of the episode. We've got one final question, but before we get to the final question and we wrap up this episode, do you have any final thoughts on your overall time here today on the special on the special Chronicles show that you want to share with our listeners? No, I think you what you do is a great service to people with disabilities. I think you're highly intelligent. I enjoy talking to you, and I, I really feel flattered and honored to be a part of your podcast. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm honored. I'm thankful to our mutual friend uh, and listener, Izzy, for recommending um, you to come on the podcast, and um, hopefully we can stay connected, you know, maybe have you back on. Maybe we can successfully – we need to work on – so I've slided into Zach Gano's DM so we can um, have him back on the pod and uh, have yeah. and yeah and maybe do a little more in depth review of his book. Uh, and uh, with that, um, we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and roll that bumper for this final question. We're not just athletes. We are the ambassadors of an uprising. Peaceful protesters. In a rebellion against anyone who has a fear of difference. 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 
Our demands are equality, 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 dignity, 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 and the recognition of our shared humanity. We will not stop or accept anything less. Today, our world is more divided than ever, and coming together has never been more urgent. The revolution is inclusion. Find out more at jointherevolution.org. And Justin, ever since I attended the uh, Special Olympics World Games 2019 in Abu Dhabi, I've been asking all of our guests one final question, and so I'll do the same with you. It's a perfect way to wrap up this episode. Um, as you know, inclusion in the inclusion revolution uh, is a b- big message uh, in our Special Olympics movement. It's, inclusion is important. Here are Special Chronicles, I'm sure, even um, uh, with the, the Son of Independence that your mom founded, inclusion is pretty big, I'm sure, in a lot of the disability advocacy that, that you do. You try to, even like with making the uh, world crippled, beautiful, and cute, you, you're you trying to um, um, let people know to include those of us with disabilities. Uh, and, and, and so with that, I'll conclude and ask you the final question as well, and that is, what does inclusion mean to you? Um. Well, I think inclusion means to include everybody because I think it's like a broad definition because a couple of years ago, um, you know, I had a very hard time, like, accepting people with, like, spinal cord injuries as people with disabilities. So I had to learn that everyone's experience with disabilities are different and unique, just like you said at the beginning of the podcast. Mm-hmm. So I think inclusiveness means that you have to, you know, experience everybody's experience and just adapt and create. Based off of that, so inclusion is the ability to adapt and create and just, like, not inspire, because I don't want to be, like, an inspiration point, <laughs> that, like I said earlier, but just create knowledge for the naval body community. Because I think, I think if you say, like, oh, you know, you've really changed my perspective rather than you've inspired me, a person with a disability, because that way, you know, changing people's perspective, changing people's knowledge is better than saying, you inspire me. Because then when you're saying you inspire me, you're saying, I can't believe you actually did this versus, oh, you did this? That's really cool. Awesome. Well, that is a perfect way to wrap up this episode. Uh, thank you again, Justin. Our guest has been Justin. We have been whoa with Justin. <laughs> I got the name right, right? Yeah, okay. I I I, I did look down. Not bad. Notes. Well, let's see here. I'm looking at the show notes with your name on the left, Zach's book on the right. I have to make sure that I'm, I'm looking at the way. I mean, I could just look straight ahead at you, and I see your name on the screen. So, anyways, are we yeah. are we have been rolling with Justin this week on the Special Chronicles. On the spe- as I spit on this brand new microphone, I shouldn't do that. Uh, we've been rolling with Justin on the Special Chronicle Show. We'll be back next week. We'll, um, we'll be talking all about mental health in aviation. We'll talk all about mental health next week on the pod. Yeah, and, and more guests um, coming up uh, every week. New episodes drop every Monday, 6 p.m. Central Time, right here on SpecialChronicles.com and wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you next week. And until, until then, remember, choose to include. Talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Special Chronicles podcast. Our podcast was produced by Daniel Smukowski on the Special Chronicles Network. Follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 500 episodes for absolutely for free. Also, there's a list of our favorites, original series, award-winning columns, and blogs. And sign up for our newsletter to receive exclusive bonus content delivered to your inbox. Again, specialchronicles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting. Our live streams are powered by StreamYard. Thanks, as always, to our business manager, Adam Smukowski, who always encourages us to never give up. I'm Daniel Smukowski, back next week with more stories. Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice 
to people with special needs. No, I'm done. <laughs>